This is a concertina watercolour book and it's double sided. One side, two sides. I'm going to show you how I put it together and then I'm going to show you how I painted the individual cards. Here goes. So I've got five for one side of my book and it's going to be five on the other side of the book. So it's going to be a double sided book. So what I'm doing first is folding each of the little cards exactly in half. To start I'm just going to make them all the same way and I'll change that up in a minute. They're in a certain order so that's why I'm keeping them in this order like that. Now I'm going to fold all of these as well. They all get folded but I'm going to keep them in their order on the back so I'm going to double check my numbers then I'm going to place these in position like so and that way I can check that they've all lined up that I can go completely to the edges and to the edge and then I'll do this side as well and I'm going to stand it back up so I can't get it wrong. That goes there, and that one goes there. Keep them glue and glue, glue, glue. And again, I'm using the same method of standing it up to check, standing it into its perfect position line it up, check they're all in line that way and give it a good press and back into position. Second last one, put it glue, put it up, put it into position. All right, each time I'm closing it lining up the tops, pressing together, ensuring all that glue has beautiful contact. Back, check in. And the final one I only do a half. And there you have a double-sided concertina book. That's how it looks on the back. That's how it looks. Uh, and that's the front. And I've got my number there so I could uh, erase that quite easily. Um, this one isn't quite aligned and it's glued already so there's no time to the time to check that was when I was gluing. I don't think it matters too much. So now I'm going to show you how I painted the cards. I'm going to show you that next. Color. If I've not, got one, two, three, four, five postcards. I got I bought a box of these Etcher uh, premium watercolor postcards, and each one is exactly the same size. And on the back are some postcard type um, marks so that you could use it as a postcard if you wanted to. So I've got five for the front of my concertina book and five cards for the back of my concertina book. And what I'm going to do is um, paint them all and then one set will become the backing and one set will become the front of each of my uh, cards. And so I'm going to be taping them down because it's quite flimsy paper. Um, it doesn't tell me on the box what the GSM of the paper is, which is a little annoying, but it's pretty damn flimsy. So I'm going to tape each one down uh, to make the job a little easier for myself. Now, what I'm going to do to give them the cards some consistency is draw a quick uh, landscape type mark, come down and each one will join Exactly. I'm going to just try and vary the mark as it comes along and 
Maybe this one goes a little lower and a little lower and then up higher. I'm just thinking about each time that I join a new pencil, a new card, that the line is varied uh, off to there. And so that might form the basis of the front and therefore this will be the back. Yeah, it'll just be a, a lovely continuous line again. And I'm just going to make sure each one lines up. And I'll be able to vary it when it comes time. Maybe the front ones become the back ones. I'm going to move one set of cards out of the way. But the first thing I'm going to do, and this is a top tip, <laughs> is number them. One, two, three, four, and five. My theme is going to be cool on the front and warm on the back or vice versa, doesn't much matter. They're out of the way. And now I'm going to take them all down. I've got cobalt blue and this beautiful turquoise colour. This is thalo turquoise. I'm loving this at the moment. There's my three cool colours. I'm going to paint the whole lot all at once. Cobalt in the sky. Cobalt in the sky. Some beautiful purple into the mix. Purple. And then the bluey turquoise down there and a bit of gravity to do beautiful things and I won't care that they move one to the next. I'm just going to allow the watercolour to do the beautiful things that watercolour does. Go the other way. I had a student comment to me on YouTube the other day on one of my videos that if you heat the tape it helps remove it without damaging the paper and this Etcholab paper did not like my masking tape so they are totally right. If you heat your masking tape I am able to remove the masking tape without Damaging the I'm paper. going to go through the same process of taping down. Yeah. 
So this is going to be the back of the series of cards and most of these are going to be bent in half and they'll provide the backing. Smashing amounts of water. Yeah, but what I need is some orange for my sunset, so I'm going to grab some alizarin and mix up an orange. No, except in the foreground, in. not a problem. Sunset, I'll make that purple, purple, purple. Take all the tape off, you come back one way. So I've got five for one side of my book and it's going to be five on the other side of the book. So it's going to be a double-sided book. So what I'm doing first...